from the blog Our Prairie Farmhouse and today I'm wanting to talk to you about decorating our porches for fall and how to make them inviting for our guests and just how we can best enjoy them ourselves. So I've made a list of six things that I think about when decorating my porch and considering making it the place that we all want together, whether it be with family or friends. So the first thing on my list is the obvious seating. And um, I think we really want to think about different ways we can arrange seating to make it um, the best for conversation and we want to think about if it's comfortable for us, of course, and for our guests. Since the style of my house is farmhouse, I do like the classic farmhouse look of white rocking chairs. And I personally love to sit in a good rocking chair. I really thought about getting four rocking chairs for our porch and setting up kind of the same seating arrangement on each side of our front door since our front door is in the center of our porch. Um, but I've had a bench that um, well I've had it for years and I really like it and it's very comfortable and so I went ahead and set it up on the opposite side. The second thing on my list is throw blankets and pillows because in especially in the fall um, it's really nice to be able to grab a throw and kind of cover up and get cozy on the cool evenings. So if you're like me and you live in an area where the wind tends to blow a little bit more than usual, <laughs> like it does out here in West Texas, um, you may not want to leave your pillows and throw blankets out on the porch at all times. But another solution that I have found for that is to use a basket or a crate and keep it just inside your front door, which can also make a decorative little corner in your living room or your entryway. And then they're close by and easy to grab and bring it on the porch when you want some porch time. And then on my list, I have a welcome mat or just some kind of rug to put in, your, in front of the front door. a good reason to call them a welcome mat because they do make your guests feel welcome and um, you know a lot of times people feel uncomfortable walking into your house without taking off their shoes and they don't really want to take off their shoes and then if you have a mat there then they have a little more confidence walking in and um, if they can just dust off their shoes real good and make sure that nothing's on them so um, so not only is it helpful to you in helping to keep your house clean, but um, it actually does make your guests feel welcome and confident and uh, like you'd want that extra step for them. And next on my list is to consider your porch lighting. Thank you. 
not quite sure that I have the right porch lighting right now because we bought um, some bulbs. I believe they were labeled like daylight or something like that. And they really, really light up the area out here when we have our porch lights on, which um, may be just right because it would make things very easy for our guests to be able to get to see to get to their cars. But also, I don't really like to ever have a mom when we're sitting outside because it just lights up the sky too much. Next on our list is plants and flowers because they add life to your porch and just they're pretty no matter what the season. There's always a flower um, for the season and so that's just also fun to um, have flowers and plants to make your porch look a little dressed up and a little extra pretty. with it being fall now and I happened to find some mums in town the other day that were priced really good and so I have my porch all decked out with mums right now. And last on my list but certainly not least is to have some tables or some stools just something that you can be able to sit a drink on and um, so you can enjoy um, having conversation and sipping on some sweet tea or whatever it is that you like to drink so um, and that's one of the things that I like about my bench um, I don't really have to have anything around it because it has nice wide flat arms so it's really good to be able to kind of prop your drink on while you're sipping it and um, I do have some stools out there also over by the rocking chairs and they work great for sitting a drink on or a snack or whatever you may have at the moment. So those are my six things to think about when you are wanting to make your porch more inviting for the fall season and I hope it has given you something to think about and something to work with on your own front porch and you will enjoy the fall on your porch. Thanks for watching and I will